conquest of Syria. In the year 626, the Holy Prophet Muhammad وسلم, sent a message of goodwill and an invitation to accept Islam to Syrians. Ignoring all norms of decency, Byzantine Christian governor of Syria put the messenger to death. The Prophet Muhammad وسلم, called a few thousand volunteers and sent them out under the command of his adopted son, Zayd ibn Abi Haratha, in the year 630. Byzantinians brought 100,000 well-trained and heavily armed men. The mission unfortunately failed and Hazrat Zayd ibn Haratha died fighting. Hazrat Jafar ibn Abi Talib and Hazrat Abdullah ibn Rawaha took the command one after the other and died fighting. Hazrat Khalid bin Walid took over the command and proved excellent swordsman. He inflicted heavy casualties on the enemy and managed to withdraw safely from the field. On his return, the Holy Prophet وسلم, conferred on him the title Sword of Allah. The first Khalifa of Islam, Hazrat Abu Bakr عن, formed three contingents having 3,000 Mujahideen each and sent them out to Syria under the commands of Hazrat Amr bin Al-As, Yazid ibn Abu Sufyan, and Sharhbil ibn Hasana. Mujahideen gained victories and minor clashes on borders. Byzantine Emperor sent down a large army under his brother, Theodorus, to check Muslim advances. The Khalifa ordered Hazrat Khalid bin Walid to hasten from Persian borders to Syria to take over the command of operations there. Hazrat Khalid bin Walid with his 900 men crossed waterless desert between Iran and Syria in a record time of 18 days, the swiftest march in history. Thirsty and worn out but undaunted in his spirit, this valiant son of Islam suddenly appeared before the walls of Damascus. Theodorus met Mujahideen at Ajnaden. Hazrat Khalid bin Walid's skill and valor inflicted on them a decisive defeat in August 634. The discomfited imperialists took refuge in Jerusalem, cut off from all resources. They offered to surrender to Khalifa Hazrat Umar if he comes in person to accept the submission of the city. Hazrat Umar went to Syria and Jerusalem in the year 637 or 638 and climbed to the terrace where the Temple of Solomon had once stood. He ordered removal of debris and construction of a mosque there.